So guys, for the first step, you want to make sure that GTA 5 is running on the background in your computer. Now we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once it's on this, GTA 5 should appear here, since it's already running. Now you want to head over to the Details tab, and you want to look for GTA 5. Once you find GTA 5, you want to right click on it, and then click on Set Priority, and then make it high. And then click on Change Priority. Now for the next step, you want to head over to the Epic Games Launcher, and you want to find GTA 5. Now once you find it, you want to click on the three dots, and then click on Manage, and then you want to click on Verify, which will verify your files. If you're using the Steam version, you want to find GTA 5 on Steam, right click on it, click on Properties, and then click on Installed Files, and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. So guys, for the next step, you want to head over to Search, and type in File Explorer, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC, then you want to find where you have GTA 5 installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, GTA 5. And then you're going to find the gta5.exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility. Then you want to tick disable full screen optimizations and click on change high DPI settings. Now you want to tick override high DPI scaling behavior and then click on OK and click on OK again. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. Now for the last step, you want to head over to your graphics card driver software. So for me it's GeForce Experience. If you also have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can head over to GeForce Experience and then click on Drivers, and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure that your graphics card driver is fully up to date. Then you can head over to Home, and then you can find GTA 5. You can click on it, and then click on the Spanner, and then set this to Performance, and click on Apply. Now you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.